Good morning. How is everyone? Good. 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 This morning I brought with me some cleaning supplies. I got myself a little feather duster to clean those uh, ceiling fans. There's one way above me. And I got my sponge for cleaning my dishes. I got a secondary scrubber for cleaning those really dirty dishes. And I got my Windex with rags to clean my windows. Now I brought this stuff with me today because whenever I was younger, I had all these chores that I had to do around the house in order to make sure that the house was kept clean. And whenever I was younger, I would get money, chore money. I'd get about $2 for all the chores that I did. And I was happy about this. I was like, yeah, I got money. I can go out and spend this money. And then I went over to one of my friend's houses one day, and he was talking about the chores that he did. And he was like, man, those are all the same chores I do. How much do you get? He's like, well, I got $6. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to go talk to my parents and figure out how I can get a little bit of a raise because I'm doing the same amount of chores as my friend, and I'm not getting paid the same amount. We need to talk about this with my parents. Now, even though I was perfectly fine with the $2 that I was getting before going to my friend and figuring out that he was making $6 off of the same chores, it wasn't enough for me. And in our lives, we can sometimes get that way. We might see other people having better stuff than us or having more stuff than us, and we're like, the stuff we have isn't enough anymore. I want that thing that that person has. And in our New Testament reading today from 1 Timothy, Paul is talking to the young preacher, Timothy, and he's telling him what to teach the people. And he tells him to teach the people how to be happy with the things they have rather than wanting things that they don't have or something else that someone else has. And he told, that, told Timothy that he needs to teach the people to be uh, happy with the good deeds that they can share with other people, like love, faith, steadfastness, and being content with the things you have. And he also continued by saying, whenever we come into this world, we come with nothing. And when we leave this world, we will also leave with nothing. And so whenever we are thinking about something that someone else has that we want, we should always remember that even though they have it, they've been blessed with it. And the things that we have, God has blessed us with. He's blessed us with more than enough. So whenever we're out thinking that, oh, I need that thing that this person has, remember that God has already blessed you with the things that you need. And if he happens to bless you with more than you have, then do your best to share it with others, whether that's donating to the Coins for Compassion or donating to the pregnancy clinic to help them out with these needs. Whatever that is, share those abundant blessings that God has given you with others because that will make those people happy and make God smile. That's the good news for today. Let's hold our hands now and pray. Dear God, Dear God, thank you, thank you for the many blessings, for the many blessings you, give us. you give us. Help us, Help us to, share those blessings to share those blessings with other people. With other people. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please join us in 